Behind the headline, Sexism in Reality TV. Unscripted or reality TV has existed in one form or another for decades. Its present and wildly popular incarnation began in 2000 with such shows as Survivor, American Idol, and The Bachelor. These shows' competitive nature pit contestants against each other for money, fame, or every woman's putative goal, a man. <laughs> Founder and executive director of Women in Media News, Jen Posner, says the message harms women. Reality TV uh, is really based in the most deep-seated notions about gender roles and race and class in America in ways that are really problematic for women. Reality TV tends to try and prove that women just are certain things. They tell us that women are manipulative and catty and not to be trusted, especially by other women, that women are always and forever in competition with each other for men, um, that men should be the be-all and end-all of women's ambition, that there's no academic, political, personal, or professional achievement that could ever just be even remotely as important to a woman than being Mrs. Something. Some reality TV shows boast record-breaking ratings makeover and dating shows such as America's Next Top Model or The Bachelor appeal to women in their teens and 20s. Five years ago I was doing talks about reality TV and showing clips of, from some of the worst of the worst of the dating shows, the mating shows, and the makeover shows on college campuses and a lot of the young women who I'd speak to, who I'd show these clips to, etc., were looking at those shows in their first year, the first year of The Bachelor, the first year of The Swan, and thinking this is ridiculous, this is silly. Now the college students that I see have grown up with these shows. Those were the shows that were on TV during high school. There was a school in the bluest of the blue states that had me change the date that I was coming to their campus because it was on an American Idol night and they couldn't get anyone to show up to any kind of event on campus if American Idol was going to be on that night. The reality TV market has grown largely due to the advertising dollars it rakes in for TV networks. Contestants are shown using products and living in lavish surroundings full of product placements. Advertisers also lend their brands to contests and prizes. Every episode of Top Model um, is set around a particular product. So for example, CoverGirl sponsors Top Model with product integrated advertising to the tune of several hundred thousand dollars each, uh, each segment. And the girls then have to compete against each other for uh, in tasks about who can apply lustrous lash mascara most effectively or who can sell a particular line in an commercial most effectively. Who can model Steve Madden shoes in an ad most effectively over and over. This is before they ever sell a, a single commercial. They get hundreds of thousands, sometimes millions of dollars from integrated advertising that is not only selling us products, but is selling us really damaging ideas about what, what women are supposed to want, what women are supposed to be, what women are supposed to expect, not only from, an, uh, from one another, but from men and from culture at large. Posner believes the interests of media conglomerates are not the same as the American public, and breaking them up would make a difference. I have nothing against uh, media companies profiting from entertainment and even from journalism, but I have a problem with media companies prioritizing profit over everything else to the point where journalism doesn't need to be fact-checked, entertainment doesn't need to be challenging and interesting. Um, when the lowest common denominator uh, is car crash on the side of the road programming that tells us um, that we are a nation of bug eaters who sit in harems waiting to be picked by some jerk who uh, sticks his tongue down 15 other women's throats before reluctantly settling for us, that's not the kind of nation that we should be, uh, that, that's not the kind of nation we want to be. That's not the kind of media we need.